We specialise in acoustic and environmental management services to large construction projects, manufacturing, power. For a large part, they're road and rail, linear infrastructure projects. But if you're going to be hitting a certain noise level, then what you're looking at potentially is offering everyone in the neighbourhood a hotel room for the night, and that can very quickly add up in terms of cost. A client will plan their project and they'll think it's going to take so many months. And then they work out, well, we can only work so many nights a week and it throws their program out. So we've developed an, an application called No Noise that gives them the power to manage and assess their own noise impacts throughout their projects. They can talk with their engineers, be around the conference table, be out on site and plan the next night's works knowing what their noise impacts are going to be. They can select what the work is, where the work is, what equipment they're using, and then they push go. They can save time, they save money, and they greatly improve their flexibility. It's doing sound modelling, but it is it does look quite sexy. I love the, the interactivity on it. Uh, they wanted to standardise to the web and um, be able to deploy it out to um, users on the go. So, you know, if they're using a Surface or an iPad or something like that, um, so that the people, you know, boots on the ground can, can use the app. We're not the largest acoustic practice in the country, far, far from it. But the way that we are getting onto some of the great projects is through innovation and on projects that we potentially wouldn't have had a look into, because of our application, we're first chosen. They'd gone through some incredible acrobatics to get some software working in Excel, where they could have a map, they could choose, uh, you know, where construction's going to happen, what equipment's being used, and then plot out all the effects in the area. Uh, I don't know how they got that to work in Excel, to be honest. What the guys are going to do now that they understand the domain is they'll figure out... Hutchison, while they don't have to change a lot of their, their practices, they model the sounds in the same way, they produce the same outputs that they would have done for the Excel version, so we're not changing a, a lot of their workflows. Um, they feed it into a different tool now, uh, and that tool's online. They can spin up new projects a lot faster, uh, and um, with uh, greater data integrity. The splines will be recalculated. Okay, I'll share my screen. And also they can provide their clients with an easier and, and a more um, graphically rich way to choose where they're going to be doing construction work. That looks brilliant. We'll show them all the impacts around the neighbourhood, show who's highly affected, who's not so much, and also give a detailed report of the impacts at every address in their community. We developed No Noise with SSW over a period of three or four months. We've already got clients using it across the state and their experience and feedback is amazing. At the beginning, this was my image of what it will turn out like and how to get there, I didn't know. In terms of setting expectations, we got them up to speed on, on Scrum because uh, we're following Scrum at SSW. And um, so we had an understanding of the backlog. We'll tag things in priority order. We'll pull things into, into the sprint, what we think we can complete. We looked at a, a number of companies around Sydney we even considered going offshore, but I really needed hands-on, reliable service that I could talk to them in person. They were, they've already seen early versions and they're really happy. He really enjoyed the, the review and retro pro process, I think. The feedback was, was just easy flowing. And, and that's, you know, we, you know as, as developers, we want that continual feedback loop so that we can you know, improve on what we're doing. And then, you know, next time we can improve even more. You know, we used Angular, we used NGRX. It's a pure NGRX application. On the back end, we use you know, .NET Core. Um, we followed a clean architecture pattern. We put everything on Azure. We've got um, a build and release pipelines that deploy the entire infrastructure as it gets updated and 
you know, deploy all the codes, run all the automated tests. So when we're making changes, we're very confident in terms of we're not going to break anything. I think the agility angle of it was one of the major reasons I, I went with SSW because I made it very clear they had a process um, and we weren't going to wake up in three months time with a product that wasn't what we wanted it to be. So No Noise for us delivers this edge. We've got a platform now through SSW that we can continue to add features, functions and scale it up. You know, if it's at 11, we can take it to 12. I feel excited about the prospects of where we can take this.